All right, uh, I would like to uh, explain uh, how we derive this uh, formula for, the, this is the second formula we looked at for curvature. All right, so uh, uh, before we get started, uh, I have some uh, note here. Uh, since uh, a tangent vector is a unit vector, so the magnitude is going to be one. So magnitude squared is equivalent to the product with itself is equal to one which is known because it's a unit length. And if you take the derivative uh, with respect to t, of course, uh, we can apply the, um, the uh, uh, product rule, right? So you're going to end up getting, uh, you know, uh, tangent vector prime of t dot product with uh, t itself and plus uh, t dot product with uh, t prime right, which is just uh, two of the same thing. So two times uh, t of t dot product with uh, t prime of t, right? Right, but the, this is going to be equal to zero because derivative of one is zero, right? So which tells you that the dot product be between uh, tangent vector and uh, its derivative is actually zero, right? Which tells you that uh, they are actually perpendicular, right? So tangent vector and uh, its derivative are perpendicular or orthogonal, right? So let's keep that in mind. All right, so let's uh, try to establish this uh, second formula we discussed in class. All right, so what we want to do is uh, we want to show that uh, this is going to be equal to, right? Remember that the definition of the curvature was um, um, dt over ds. Um, then we take the absolute value. And we found out that this is equivalent to uh, derivative of t, tangent vector, then take the magnitude, divide by the magnitude of r prime. All right? So uh, let's start with this. All right? So if you have uh, r prime of t, all right? Remember that the r prime is has the same direction as the tangent vector. It might not have the same magnitude. So we can start with the tangent vector. Uh, this uh, points in the same direction. If you multiply by the uh, magnitude of r prime, then it becomes exactly the same vector because it points in the same direction and having the same magnitude. All right, so r prime of t can be written this way, and we know that the magnitude of r prime is the same thing as ds over dt, uh, which we talked about that when we talked about the arc length function. All right, then you have uh, times uh, a tangent function. All right, so if you want to take the, another derivative, um, r double prime with respect to t. Uh, you're going to get this, right? So we just apply a product rule. Derivative of the ds over dt would be a second derivative of s uh, with respect to t, right? Multiply by uh, tangent vector plus uh, ds over dt times derivative of the tangent vector, right? That's just a product rule, right? All right, so let's uh, look at this uh, cross product here, see what we get. So r prime of t cross product with the r double prime of t is going to be, all right, so we just have to distribute this guy, right? So here we have a tangent vector and the cross product with the multiple of the tangent vector. Remember that if you, uh, you know, uh, cross product with itself, uh, it's going to be zero because the sine of theta, theta is going to be zero, sine of zero is zero. So cross product, uh, if you take the cross 
product between two vectors pointing in the same direction, you're going to get, get zero. So this times that is going to give you zero. Right? Then all you have to do is take the cross product between this guy and the second term, which gives us uh, ds over dt. Uh, we have two of those, so we have to square that. Then we have to take the cross product between tangent vector and uh, its derivative. Right? So tangent and its derivative in the node, we figured that it's, uh, they are orthogonal, which means that, that they make uh, 90 degrees. So if you, make, uh, if you take the magnitude of this um, cross product, then what happens is, all right, so you have this is just a scalar value and the ds over dt, right? So this is squared, right? And remember that the, this is going to be um, the magnitude of t times magnitude of t prime and multiply by a sine of theta. But uh, since they are orthogonal, a uh, sine of theta is going to be 1. So we know that the, this is going to be 1 because sine of 90 degrees 1, right? And uh, since the tangent vector is a unit length, so magnitude is 1 as well, right? So which means that the, this is going to simplify to simply, right, or actually also on top of that, right, ds over dt is... Um, uh, magnitude of r prime of t then you have to square that and since this is one that's one so only thing you get is uh, t prime of t all right then you can see that the here we have a magnitude of r prime cross product with r double prime over, right, here, r prime of t magnitude cubed. It's going, can be simplified as, right, so on top is just a r prime of t squared, then magnitude of t prime of t, right, divided by you know, you have uh, r prime of t magnitude cubed, right? Then you can actually cancel this guy and uh, two of those, so you still have one more left, and you end up getting a magnitude of t prime of t over magnitude of r prime of t which is exactly the expression for the, um, the curvature. So we get the curvature of t. All right, so that's why we have this formula right here. All right, All right that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.